This is an SLK 230 compressor. I'm just by myself today, and this video is made in conjunction or as a supplement to uh, my road and track article of the same name. So there's no one to banter with as I go talk about the rich man's Miata. This is a surprisingly small car, even though it wears a Mercedes badge, but it was made much larger when it was turned into the Chrysler Crossfire. It's powered by a 2.3 liter double cam, four valve per cylinder, inline four. Now it sounds a lot like a, uh, and I apologize for the wind noise, so I'll talk a little louder. That sounds a lot like a Miata, but on top of that, it has a belt-driven supercharger. Well, duh, of course, all superchargers are belt-driven. Now, you'd think this would all be great, but it isn't, <laughs> because you think, oh, you got a four, you got a 2.3 liter four with double cams and four valves, and you got a supercharger on it? I'll bet that thing revs like crazy. No, it doesn't. It doesn't even rev to six. It revs to 5,800. That's the end. That's all you can get out of this engine. Uh, just so. The gears are very, very, very long. But you get a lot of pull. That's why you drive this car. You get a lot of pull. You don't have to, your power starts coming on as early as 2000 RPM. But you don't buy an SLK 230 to do what a Miata can do because it's much heavier than a Miata. It's way more complicated than a Miata. It's got these these uh, drink. They're not really whoa truck. There we go. It's got these cup holders that don't really hold anything. They just uh, fall on the side. You got an ashtray and a very German flip out thing down here that holds coins. This car still is stuck in the early 2000s. It has a CD changer in the trunk <laughs> and uh, uh, no MP3 hookup or anything. And this was back when it was a big deal to have the phone hookup in the car, like the, the hands-free thing. So it has a thing, it has a uh, dial pad here by the radio that you can, uh, you know, call people. It's got radio, it's got CD, telephone, and tape. It has an option here for tape, but there is no tape cassette player. Shifter is also very long. It's a very long shifter. I'm going to go left here. Oh, and another thing. When you go to make a turn, when you go to hit the turn signal in this car, the turn signal is where you think the cruise control would be and cruise control is where you think uh, turn signals would be so you're always hitting this thing down here it is a miata if if, if you're thinking of buying a miata but all you're gonna do is cruise in it you're not gonna throw it around you just want something for the weekends this may be more your speed it's has better gearing for the highway it certainly is built better and when I say built better I mean I mean built heavier everything here is thick of course this is the early 2000s when uh, airbags were very very large of course if you're thinking of an N uh, of an NA Miata or an NB Miata you're gonna have the big pillowcase airbag as well how am I doing, by the way? Keeping up the banter with no one in the car. Maybe I'm calling back to my college radio days. And when we get down here to the bottom of the hill, I'll show you the roof that takes forever. Hopefully there'll be no one behind us. And uh, we can uh, enjoy the very long but metal roof. And that's another reason you buy one of these things. I'm going to pull off to the side. If anyone comes, they can go around me. And uh, to do that, you have this big red button down here. You pull it back, it turns red, and up we go. First the trunk comes up, then the glass rear window comes up, folds over, and you have to keep holding this by the way. Keep holding it, keep holding it, because if I stop, it stops. <laughs> and then it goes all the way down. There we go. Now we're ready to rock and roll with the roof off, and we'll see if, uh, if, uh, you can hear me. 
and they just paved this road. Lucky for us. You can go all the way to the floor with it a lot. Of course, I'm not going to do it because it's not my car. And it will, it does like the hard acceleration on the low end, but weirdly enough, it doesn't like it on the high end. This is what the car does very well. I'm in fifth gear. I'm going the speed limit. The engine is turning 1,000, about 1,250 RPM. And if I want to accelerate, there it goes. It will. Now, as far as turns go, I wish I could whip it around these roads a lot better. But one, I am not a very good driver. And two, there's lots of manure on these roads. There's another problem with this car though, you look rich, even though these cars are very cheap now. I'm driving a Mercedes. I do declare I have to check my stock portfolio and associated rich people jokes. The way you get around that is not having a red Mercedes SLK uh, 230, you have a black one. If you have a black one, it looks a little bit uh, Japanese, and uh, suddenly everything's okay. Figure that out, right? The engine is a mess of vacuum tubes and a million different belts running everything in there. Uh, because it's a Mercedes, they like to do everything the complicated way. We got one last turn coming up here. And uh, it was the exact same uh, turn, if you follow RCR, that myself, Corbin, Goodwin, and Dan, is this it? No. Uh, made in the Vagabond Falcon and ended up going 10 miles an hour. This car will go a little bit faster than that. Oh, it looks like someone was having fun here. Is this it? No. Coming up. Would I buy one of these cars? Maybe when I'm 60. Of course, by that time, it would be a classic car, so hey, that may be cool. I'll tell you right now, though, this is a very good car to pose with and go on OK Cupid dates with. Oh, we got people playing in the middle of the road. So here is the road, the very bumpy road. I'm going to keep it in a third gear instead of a second gear because we got the supercharger. So we can afford to have the revs lower than they really need to be. Again, bumpy road, put your foot down. You start to hear the turbo whine, or turbo whine, right? Supercharger, blower, gravel. Put all the way to the floor and up we go to the hill. And dodging that pothole. <laughs> When you're on it and you feel this car pulling, you forgive it for being a more expensive and uh, more complicated Miata. There you go, SLK 230, compressor.